Hey YouTube, today I'm going to do a short video about the dirty inside of a Mitsubishi Colt CZT. Uh, it's raining outside but that doesn't really matter because we're going to do an interior video. Uh, my car is not in its best shape but uh, bear in mind that this is a 12 year old car and you can only find this car used so that there are going to be some things that are going to be wrong about this car. In any case, starting with the steering wheel. Now the steering wheel is made out of leather, but it's 12 years old. And as you can see, although it can grip good, you see the stitching underneath here. I don't know if you can see that, but it has worn off. So at some point you're going to have to do, you're going to have to change that thing. Other than that, it's a plastic uh, steering wheel here. It hasn't got any buttons, but of course they have buttons back here in the back. I don't know if you can see where you can change the sound. You can change channels and one other button here over here. Again the same thing, same buttons here. What's, uh, in my opinion it's sometimes it's more useful because you're holding the wheel like that and you push the button instead of doing this, but okay. Now let's start from the window. Now we can see here we have uh, electric windows and he has a button, I don't know where they put this. Press this and the guy in the, the passenger seat over here, he cannot open or close his window, I don't know, that's strange. This is how, where the door opens up and you can do that and it automatically locks. I don't know why they did that, anyway, almost all those cars have that. It's useful when you have kids in the back doors, but we don't have back doors in the three in the Mitsubishi Colt CZT. Now one other thing here that we you were going to have wear and tear is this part here. You put your arm if you are kind of like driving like this. Uh, sometimes this thing it will wear off by time because you're putting your arm all the time over here. And let's see the panel, the instruments panel. Let's open it up. Uh, you can see here we have the EPS light on it. This is for the steering wheel. It will go off if, if, you, if we open up the uh, the car. Let's open it up. Oh, it's gone off. The other uh, lights are for the airbag, the temperature. Uh, doors, seat belt that we don't have on, ESP and uh, for the, the down uh, symbol, I believe it's for uh, carrying uh, things around, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, now the, the bad thing about this car, I think I've mentioned in my other videos, there's no temper temperature gauge. This thing uh, uh, opens up when there is a problem with the temperature, but I believe that that's gonna be too late. Uh, if you do that, if that thing uh, lights up, over here we have the ABS light, the uh, fog lights from the back, and the high beam lights. Uh, the, the exclamation mark here is for the handbrake, and over here we have uh, the oil. Uh, we have the the rev meter. We have the oil, the battery, and the check engine lights. Of course, they are all off. Now, over here, you, you can send like uh, German cars where you set the your lights from down here. We, in Japanese cars, you mostly set the lights from up here. And if we turn off the engine now. And we open the door. You can hear the distinctive sound because we have forgot our lights open, so we're gonna close the lights. Down here we have the. This is uh, you can change your mirrors through this button here, this rocker switch. And here are the fog lights, front and back. And let's move on to the center console. Okay, in the center console we have. Uh, the, this display here which shows how many kilometers or miles you can see in another video where you can uh, switch the things up from liters to kilometers or miles to miles per gallon and stuff like that. And you can change the the readings by this button here, the mode button. It says here 370, zero kilometers and stuff. 
by pressing this button and of course you can change the settings with the buttons over there which are also the buttons for changing the uh, clock time and underneath we have the alarm button which is I believe it's in a more convenient place than putting it somewhere down underneath we have the mp3 player uh, which came from the factory you can put another mp3 player which is gonna be probably have a screen or something like that but you're gonna lose the readings from this display because there are, those two are connected so after 12 years I still have this uh, factory made mp3 player underneath there is the space where I put all my receipts from the gas but uh, it, it can fit, I believe it can fit some CD players because it also contains a CD. Don't forget this car came from uh, uh, 2004. Over here is the climate control. You can switch from heat to cold, the fan uh, speed, and where you want to have your air blown out of your feet and your, and your face and stuff like that. This is the recycling mode, this is for the window heater of the windows in the back and this is for the aircon. If you have this button, if it's not pressed on, it just blows cold or hot weather and it does not use the aircon. Over here you have a lighter, because it's 2007 and people still smoke. And some uh, compartments here where you can put some stuff. Uh, not very big ones I would say you can't hold a cell phone but in a uh, uh, rough acceleration it will fall off over here this is probably where I put my cell phone most of the times this place here and this is very something very nice I have I've had a lot of compliments about this thing which is I, an ashtray but I use some garbage I wanted to, to throw away and this can you can take this off you can clean it and you have two extra spaces for two two cup two cup holders in fact we have another dirty cup holder up there back here the gear lever you can see I don't like this part here it's plastic again there is some wear on the leather of the uh, gear changer and one other problem is with the handbrake again you can see where and uh, this button here is most of the times it comes off but there's a quick fix for that uh, you just put some super glue in it and it has not gone off ever since over here we have the glove compartment for the co-driver where there are some interesting features as well from here you can turn off the airbag I wouldn't suggest that you do that uh, you can put some things here there's some coins here you can put for uh, the tall booths if you pass in tall and stuff like that and the most interesting thing the most interesting feature is this compartment he over here where you can put uh, a water and by turning this thing over here it uh, sends uh, cold weather if you have the aircon on so you can have the cool bottle of water, a one and a half liter bottle and it's not extra cool but it's gonna be a lot cooler than having it outside in some places over here and again in the passenger seat we have a thing that closes the door it's a lock but only for the passenger seat and of course the uh, electronic, the electric windows and that's it about the front. Again, we have uh, sport seats with support in the sides. And one other cool thing is that they do have handrests for everyone in this car. I didn't forget to show you the shade the, over here, which has a small mirror. In the passenger seat, also a small mirror up here we have the lights express them and they turn off one thing we got to show is the wipers over here 
just press it one up and I think it goes like this and there's an interval time for a more frequent normal and press this thing and you can see in the back we have the back wiper get this thing up Okay, so I'm in the back here. I'm six foot one, and as you can see, my legs I have plenty of uh, uh, leg room, leg room space. Here you, we can put some magazines or stuff like that. Uh, as I said, I'm six foot one, so the front chairs are not pulled back all the way up front. The thing is that the back seats are all the way back, and there's a lever. I don't know if you can see down here where we can put the seats more to the front and still I have some space so you can have an increased uh, space in the back let's put that all the way back uh, well back here as you can see it's rather minimal plastics are not that good of course it's a Japanese car we have two speakers here an armrest sort of here and there, those seats are isofix as you can see and of course we can by using this button here we can drop them and we can have an in increased boot space you can also pull this thing back and again let's push this thing and we can drop this back all the way to its original position and one other thing I forgot to mention is the seat belts after some time, especially this one here, it will not retract. You have to pull it back like this. But it has to do with the mechanism and probably some, uh, as I've, you've seen in another video I've made, uh, if you put some silicone spray, this will improve the situation. Otherwise, you have to change the whole mechanism in here. Now, one other thing is that we have seat belts for actually three people here one, two, and one in my back three. But I don't, know, uh, I don't know if you can fit three uh, mid-sized adults here, but two adults can fit rather, this is rather small, rather as good. Said, as I said before. But you can see this racks where I can pull it up that further up. So let's do that. That's what it looks with the seats down. Always have a pair of gloves if you have to change your tire. And an umbrella. And if we pull this thing up, we can see that there's actually a tire in the back so that's rather useful and some tool kits here so that's about it about this mid-2000 Japanese small GTI car it's a 2007 model while this car was made from 2004 and, uh, till 2012 I believe with a facelift it's a good little car. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.